Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year! Yep, today is Monday, January 1st. And so, hey, for us, it's the day to start taking down all these lovely Christmas decorations and putting them all away. So that's my plans for the day. And I was wondering, do you guys take them down today or do you wait? I know that there are some people that wait until the, um, I can't remember, maybe the 7th of January, I'm not really sure. But yeah, for me, I just really need to take them down. I need to get my house back in order and be back into my normal routine. So it's always fun, don't you think, you know, getting out all the Christmas decorations. But there comes a time, at least for me, that I need to get things back the way they are normally. So that's what I am going to be doing, and I hope that you will want to join me for my day. I hope all of you have a wonderful New Year's Day, and I'll talk to all of you in just a little while. I thought I would take a moment and share with you a really wonderful salad dressing that I accidentally came up with. And that's because on Christmas Day, yeah, the lady that thought that she was just totally organized wasn't all that organized because I had planned on, excuse me, I'm reaching for the recipe here. I had planned on making what was called cranberry spinach salad. And I thought for sure I had all the ingredients because they're standard ingredients. But guess what? No, I did not. I did not have toasted sesame seeds. I did not have poppy seeds. And yeah, do you know what else I didn't have? I didn't have white wine vinegar. I had raspberry wine vinegar. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I have all this spinach. I bought all these craisins because craisins were to go in it and the slivered um, almonds were to go in it. I mean, it was a wonder, going to be a wonderful salad and here I didn't have all the ingredients. So this is what I came up with and I think it was actually better than the recipe because what I did is I used what I knew I had. So here, I'll show you. I used the same amounts, I just changed what I was, what the ingredients were is what I mean to say. So it called for a half a cup of white sugar. It called for two teaspoons of minced onion, which I have there. It called for a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. And I have that. But what I didn't have was the white wine vinegar and I did not have the sesame seeds or the poppy seeds. So what I did is I used pumpkin seeds, the roasted flax seeds, and sunflower seeds. And I actually liked it so much that I ended up putting in two tablespoons of each one of those three. So in here is two tablespoons of the pumpkin seeds, two tablespoons of sunflower, and the two tablespoons of the roasted flax seed. And I went ahead and I put that in there. And it called for a half a cup of olive oil. And you really should use olive oil because it's a nice mild taste. And so just put that in there. And a half a cup of raspberry wine vinegar. And I put that in there. And I just mixed it up. And that's all I did. And I put this in the refrigerator and all those wonderful flavors just came together so good. And so I just thought that I would go ahead and share this with all of you. And it really is, it's absolutely delicious. And so I'm making this dressing because yeah, I wanna have it on hand. 
because that's how much I enjoyed it. And so anyways, I hope that you'll want to try it and enjoy it because I really do think that you'll, you will like it. It's going to be good on whether it's spinach, uh, fresh spinach or lettuce, it, whatever dressing, you know, you want to put a dressing on. This is really good. Yeah, I'm rambling here, so I'll let you go and I'll talk to y'all just a little bit. For today's scripture, we will be reading from Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. It was about 10 years ago at the church that we were attending that the pastor wanted us to learn a new hymn that was called, I Am Resolved. And it fast became my very favorite hymn. And I still find myself singing that hymn throughout my day. The first verse goes like this. I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world's delight. Things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have allured my sight. God's word teaches us not to linger when it comes to changing and becoming a more fruitful Christian. As our scripture verse tells us, we are to be not lagging behind in diligence, but we are to be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. The second verse and the third verse to this song, I Am Resolved, says this. I am resolved to go to the Savior, leaving my sin and strife. He is the true one. He is the just one. He hath the words of life. I am resolved to follow the Savior, faithful and true each day. Heed what he saith, do what he willeth. He is the living way. We are to be different from the world. As Christians, we must resolve to be different from the world. And like the fourth verse of this song says, I am resolved to enter the kingdom, leaving the paths of sin Friends may oppose me, foes may beset me, still I will enter in. The refrain that is sung after each one of these verses says this, I will hasten to him, hasten so glad and free, Jesus greatest, highest, I will come to thee. But my favorite verse of all with this song is the last verse which says I am resolved who will go with me come friends without delay taught by the Bible and led by the Spirit will walk the heavenly way the question we must ask ourselves is am I resolved am I hastening to him so glad and free. And with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And if we can sing Jesus, greatest, highest, I will come to thee. What would keep us from being resolved to be a more fruitful Christian in 2018? God bless, and I will talk to you tomorrow.